Welcome back to another episode of The Knowledge Bomb. In this week's episode, we're gonna talk about creatine. And I know you know what it is, and I know you love it, and I know you got questions. Creatine is a really, really popular supplement. I'm sure everybody's heard about it. There's a bunch of uh, myths out there. It's actually a really, really well-researched supplement. So if you Google it and you can find some good articles, there's a lot of information out there. I'm gonna kind of break it down, give you guys some information, uh, some really tangible things you can do to implement uh, taking creatine uh, as an athlete. So the first thing, uh, basically what creatine is, is, is it's an energy source of sorts, right? It helps break down ATP. Um, it buffers, so it acts as a pH buffer in your system as well. And it also increases protein synthesis. So these are really three important things when we look at it through the eyes of an athlete, right? And why is that? Well, if we think about um, the way creatine works, um, you know, creatine is, is one of those supplements that we only get from external sources. We can't actually create creatine within our own body. So we get it from uh, red meats, right? We can get it from creatine monohydrate, which is a supplement. We need to actually ingest it. Um, and so taking creatine as a supplement, uh, I think is a good idea. Um, if you eat a lot of red meats, uh, chan chan chances are you're gonna have uh, adequate creatine. If you take creatine as a supplement and you take too much, don't worry, you'll just piss it out. Um, you know, creatine uh, works, and one of, the, one of the things it does is it uh, actually helps with water retention on, at an interstitial uh, level. So that means like an intercell level, right? And so this is a really important part of how creatine kind of helps um, in what it does. And so it, it creates a hyperhydration state. Um, and that hyperhydration state actually is what stimulates the protein synthesis and actually um, helps protect protein breakdown, right? So it acts as kind of a buffer, if that makes sense. The other thing that it really does well, and I talked about a little bit, is it acts as a pH buffer. So it buffers um, um, acidosis in our, in, our, in our body. And so what it does is, you know, creatine bonds with acid ions. Um, and so that combined with the hyperhydration um, really allows us to um, dig deeper and delaying the effects of, um, of an increased pH uh, balance in our system and what that basically feels and looks like is if you do threshold work you do nasty work right like that localized burning uh, in your muscles right that sick feeling uh, creatine will help buffer and delay some of that so that's kind of a, uh, an important thing right there's a lot of questions out there on whether you should take creatine post or pre-workout uh, there's not a lot of difference uh, I look at it as a fuel source and so Personally, I take it after I work out in a way to replenish a fuel source, right? You can't, you can only top off your creatine store. So putting anything else in there, uh, you're not gonna get anything extra out of it. So the idea that I, I approach training and creatine with is that I'm coming to the table, I'm coming to that training session with a topped off, um, you know, fuel tank of creatine. I'm gonna use it during my session and then I'm gonna replenish it, right? And I think that's a, that's a pretty good way to go about it. Uh, water retention um, is, is something that's gonna happen. Now, it's, um, it's at a skeletal level, and so it's not like you're gonna you know, get, you know, I don't know, bloated and, and have all these effects of like water retention and what we think about in, in th those respects. But it does require you um, being well hydrated and paying attention to your, to your hydration. The other big question that I get is, do I cycle creatine? Should I cycle it? Should I not cycle it? Um, long story short, you don't need to cycle it. Um, I think that's a kind of a bodybuilder's myth. Um, there is no, the evidence just points to no kidney damage. There's no damage of long-term um, you know, use of creatine as a supplement. And so uh, you, those are some things to kind of think about. In terms of dosing, right, there's a lot of different ideas of like a preload phase where you should be taking 20 grams a day for five days and then go to five grams a day. Honestly, um, you know, you don't really need to do that. Personally, I think if you just start with five grams a day, it might take a little longer to top off your stores. 
Um, but if you're an athlete and you're conscious about your nutrition and you have that dialed in, you are getting adequate amounts of protein at good sources. And so, you know, taking five grams of creatine per day is going to be plenty. It just might take you, you know, a little bit longer to kind of top off those stores. The other question that I get is what type of creatine uh, should I buy? What type of creatine is the best? Honestly, uh, creatine monohydrate is what I would recommend, and that's what I would go with. You can go to any shop. Uh, pretty much it's all the same. There's not really a quality concern there. So you can go to GNC. You can go to Amazon. Um, you can just you know go to any online supplier and get some creatine monohydrate, the 100% kind of pure stuff. So to recap, here are a couple things to take away. One, find uh, good sources of creatine just in your diet. Red meat is really, really um, a good way to go about it. Uh, start taking creatine post-workout. Five grams a day is fine. If you're a heavier uh, you know, athlete, probably 225, 235 and above, you could maybe get away with 10 grams. That's something to consider. Stay well hydrated. Make sure you're on point with your hydration for sure. Don't cycle your creatine. Just start taking it and take it. Doesn't really have a lot of, uh, you know, the, the research doesn't show a lot of downsides to that. In next week's episode, I'm gonna talk about vitamin D and the role vitamin D plays in human performance and longevity. So make sure you tune into that.